morning. Oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah. So I'm going to apologize beforehand for the camera I'm about to show <laughs> from the top of the sales Motion for Sarah. Sickness. Exactly. So take a Dramamine, and you know it's better behaved right now. It's not. It's not shaking all that much actually, but it was just about uh, five minutes ago. Good example of how the wind is going. This is impacting some parts of the Bay Area more than others. First, here's the headline takeaway. We've got a wind advisory till 11 o'clock this morning. And yes, while the North Bay Valleys are included in this, eh, not so much. Hasn't been too windy up there, but in the East Bay Valleys it has. And the biggest impact on this is that drive over the Altamont Pass. If we pull out some of the details over here in the East Bay, the brighter the color, the stronger the wind. Look what's going on through the Diablo range here, going right across where 580 has to drive through it. We had a 60 mile an hour gust on the Altamont Pass about four hours ago. It's now down to about 30, still windy, but not as bad as it was. Meantime, 680 and 580, 20 mile an hour gust over here. This is one place where the winds will be felt, but there's another one. Let's go to the other side now of the bay and take a look right through the San Bruno Gap. These are northwest winds, which means they're perfectly oriented to squeeze right through that gap in the mountains on the south side of San Bruno Mountain. So. San Bruno, you feel this more than others. So does the airport. This is why it's always so windy at SFO, especially on Northwest wind days. But you're not the only one. Daly City, Millbrae, you're caught right in that as well. It gets better by about 11, right when the wind advisory expires. But it's picking up a little bit in intensity over the last hour and for about the next hour. Watch the screen just get a little deeper shade of red here through about the 8 o'clock hour. And then once we get closer to that 11 o'clock, it really does turn off fast. So by noon, it's just a breezy day. We're not looking at the terribly intense winds. And then by the evening, the onshore breeze will turn on and that'll be just like normal. So this also cooled the daytime highs down a little bit. Same system that turned on the wind, brought in cooler air. We only go to the upper 60s today. Add a little bit of a wind chill on that because of the breeze, and it'll feel cooler today because of that. And this is the bottom in the whole seven day forecast in terms of temperatures because after today, we're going to start warming back up again. You really see it when we take a look at, uh, so we'll pull out some of the microclimates like San Jose from 65 today to 73 tomorrow, and then mid 70s over the weekend. And if we look at those inland valleys where you really notice the widest swings uh, from the upper 60s today to the mid 80s. By Tuesday next week, we've got a noticeable warm-up coming our way. But even this weekend, you'll be near 80.